Good morning everyone, how's it going? I'm not sure what vlog number this is, but I do know that it's May the 1st. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Anyway, today I'm going to leave Petalidi Beach and cycle inland in the Peloponnese, almost to the very centre, to a place called Megaopolis. And I believe that that's Greek for the big city. Now I'm not sure if that's a play on words or a joke or not, but we'll see when I get there. And it's very close to another city called Tripoli. Now this has involved me rerouting part of the Hercules bike tour, and I'm going to swing round now, show you the map, and explain why I've taken that decision. Okay, here we have a map of the Peloponnese laid out in front of us. Let's zoom in. I'm going to use a pointy stick as well. This is going to be awesome. So I'm about here. And I'm going to cycle up to here. Probably along this road here. Now the reason for this is that originally on the Hercules bike tour, I wanted to come through something called the Mani Peninsula, which is down here. Uh, but what's happened is I need to be back in Athens for May the 6th and there simply isn't enough time. Uh, some of these routes, for example from here to here, it might only be 50 kilometres but it's going to take me an entire day to do it. So this peninsula, to give it some sort of justice, would need four or five days by itself and now on this trip I really don't have the time for it so I've had to reroute. Now the reason I wanted to come down here is because at this end there was a place that was connected with the Hercules myth, and that was one of the places where Hercules was said to have reascended back up out of the underworld after he completed his twelfth labour. So in effect, it means that my search for places linked with the Hercules twelve labours myth is now over as I head back to Athens. However, it won't be the last that I mention him, and I'm certain that at some point I'm going to go over some of the mythology and my thoughts related to the Hercules and the twelve labours myth. So, as I said, I'm going to cycle from here, up to here, I love this pointy stick, I should have just, just done this from the beginning, it's awesome. And after that I'm going to take each day as it comes, I'm thinking that the next jump would be over to Nathalian, then perhaps up to the coast, up to Corinth here, and then over to Athens. Another option would be to Tripoli, to go up to Corinth and to Athens again. But as I said, I'll take each day as it comes, and now I've got into the habit of using the map and the pointy stick. I'll show you it each day. Anyway, here comes some clips from the road and some videos and commentary. Speak in a bit. Here we go then. I've left Pataldi Beach and heading slightly inland. As you can see, there's a lot of cloud in the sky and it's got all the signs of being another very hot one. If I remember, at some point today, I'll try and get what the hottest temperature of the day was. Getting closer to the modern town of Messini, which is where I'll take the road up to Megalopoli. I don't think I'm expecting much out of today's ride. Uh, it's on a main road. Well, it's not on the main road. It's on the old highway, which shadows the new tollway. And also, May the 1st is a holiday in Greece, so I'm expecting that there'll be more traffic on the road. Still, it's always nice to be pleasantly surprised, and I know that there's going to be one climb at least in the middle of it, so hopefully there'll be some great views at some point. I think I'll be going up those mountains eventually. It's a wider road, but it's much quieter, so this is more like it. But it looks like I'm going up into those mountains at some point. Just crossing over the big tollway. And now I should follow this old highway up through the mountains and towards the centre of the Peloponnese to Megalopoli. I love the sound of that name. I'm probably saying it completely wrongly though, of course. It looks like the toughest part of the day is also going to coincide with the hottest part of the day, which is very ill-timed on my part. But so far, although it's been slightly uphill, it's been quite enjoyable cycling.
approximately 30 kilometers to go and I'm going to be approaching a quite steep uphill ascent. I think it goes up for about seven kilometers and it gains quite a lot of elevation over that short distance. Uh, temperature's about 30 degrees now. So I'm expecting this to be pretty tough work. I'm just going to break it up into sections. Just take a break every kilometer or every 15 minutes or whatever I feel like, I'm not in a race. That's the route I'm taking, the one that says no tolls. And my guess is that this mountain in front, the ones to the right, and probably some ones hidden behind, are my challenge for the day. Well, the percentage of the incline has not been too bad so far, but the heat is another thing. Sweat's pouring off me at the minute. Still, I'm making good progress. I'm just going to find a nice bit of shade underneath this bridge to stop in for five minutes. Catch my breath and then carry back on back up. In hindsight, this is probably not the best time of day to do this section. But there we go, you can't have it always, can you? This could very well be the top of the ascent. If it is, and I start the downhill, I'm going to take a bit of a break, hopefully in some shade, have something to eat. It's not been too bad, it's just been the heat that's uh, been an issue with that climb. But all part of the game. Take a look over that valley there, can you see the, the village on the hilltop? This crazy remote place. So I'd need to check the map, but I imagine I've now got about 20 kilometers to go to get to Megalopi. Megalopi? Megalopi, yeah, that'll do. found myself a nice place to stop for lunch so the bike's gonna take a little rest over there there's one of these like water fountains water's really cold looks like it's a mountain stream so I've washed my fruit and veg in there and then I'm gonna have my lunch which consists of tomato cucumber and some ham so it's a nice place to stop for a while then hopefully from here, I begin a downhill, which is gonna be that way. So a little bit more up, but then some down. Speaking of it. Every time so far I thought it was the top, it wasn't. But I think, I think, now it is. Over to the left, you can see the power pylons and it looks like they're gonna to start to slope down now. So I would say that I'm at the top of the slope and ready to go down the other side. Which would be very nice, as it would give my legs a nice little break. I also saw a sign for snow up here earlier, so during the colder months, this little peak must get snow on top, or ice. Not sure how high I am. I, I don't think it's over 1,000 meters, but uh, there we go. Yeah, that's the start of it now. A strange building up there, can you see it? It's almost like a pillbox. I just checked on the map, about 17 kilometers to go. So I hopefully reach the destination with, within an hour. You can see how it's a bit darker over there. That's where I'm heading. I'm not so bothered if it's just rain. If it's thunder and lightning, it might be a bit of an issue. I might need to find some shelter, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm literally on the edge of the rain right now. To the left, it's a lot darker, and I'm unsure as to which way the road is gonna turn, so it could lead me into the rain. I don't wanna to speak too soon, but it looks like I've somehow managed to skirt around it. So you can see the blue sky in front. And over there, that's a horrible dirty sky. So I think I've just managed to miss it, which is cool. Just the last four kilometers to go now until I get to Megalopoly. So I think I'll leave you at this point.
it's been wonderful again I think hasn't it it's been a nice day's ride challenging in places mainly because of the weather some nice views but on the whole maybe not one of the most spectacular days of the series which you can always check out so have a look at the playlist Hercules bike tour and pick which video you think's best in the meantime though thank you very much for watching this one if you like the video please thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you get regular updates and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.